Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Today is a very soulful day for me. Um, I want to say that first and foremost, I am glad to be here with you and hope you had a memorable uh, weekend celebrating Memorial Day and honoring those within your family or of your country, those who have served, are serving, and in a way protecting where we are, who we are, our country, our place, our home. With that, it just reminded me, what is it that I wanted to talk to about? It was about memory, it's about perception, it is understanding a, a lot about our mental wellness, and what better way to talk about mental wellness than our mind, right? As a clinical hypnotherapist, that's one of the things I deal with day in, day out with my clients. So when my clients come in here, it's their aptitude, their perception, and what is happening in their life, everything starting from here, because so many of us are overwhelmed and undervalued and feel as if we're not being seen, being heard, and it just, there's a lot of stress and anxiety that happens in between those two ears or eyes. So let's delve in and share a little bit about what is it that I want to talk about. It's, you know, we've got senses and what our sensories are. We all know about our sensories. So we have five senses. One is the way we see. So it's the sight, our vision, and how we see the world and how we see everything in light, right? The second one is our hearing and what we call uh, is being auditory. So the audio, which is how we hear things, is the sounds, everything that we capture, what we listen to, and the things that we hear and how it is impacting you, either physically, mentally, emotionally, or what is being recorded in your subconscious mind, okay? So everything that you hear, everything you see, you hear, and you learn. That's how we capture things, right? So the next one is scent. You know, a lot of people say visual, the vision is the number one sensory, and yes, but so many of us are scent oriented, which is the olfication. It's how we smell things from food, from flowers, colognes, you know, it sticks to our memory. When we think about kitchen, it's the smell of a kitchen, the smell of a food or baking that creates a memory in our our sensories and we remember things. I remember um, at the time that I used to go dancing, um, there was this guy who would come and he would smoke pipe and he was so handsome. That smell, that distinct smell of his pipe. I mean, anybody can uh, smoke a pipe, but his tobacco and because of who he was and his tobacco, I would close my eyes and just smell, take it in. And believe it or not, I would walk into the in, to the club and if I smelled just a hint of that tobacco, I knew Sam was in the club. So it's how we incorporate things into our memory bank. The other one is taste. You know, I swallowed just when I was talking about taste. So tasting food, tasting um, 
and, and anything that you put, you m mold it, you roll it in your mouth, certain tastes of chocolate and the saliva, just like dogs, when you say treat, they start salivating the moment they hear the words. And we are so much the same thing. The taste is um, another primitive way of how our sensories work. And the last one, which is touch, how we are tactile, tactician, right? And that also is very important, the way you like to be touched or not touched. Some people are not touchy. The others are, are very much touchy-feely people, hugging constantly. They want to hold hands or that's how they share what they want or express their feelings. So those are the five sensories. So there's something beyond that, which is called the six mental faculties of your mind. You know, they say the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is the slave, the faithful servant to the intuition. Um, so when you think about that, hello, my dear. I don't know who's watching, but thank you for being here. <laughs> so when we want to think about the sensories, and I only want to share some of those, uh, the six senses, and talk about the first one today. And if you want to learn more, by all means, watch the next episode. And each week from now, I'm going to be talking about one of those sensories because there is six of them that are quite important. So it has always been just a few that even we care to understand how the mind works, but it's so clear that so many of us are not understanding the higher, six higher uh, faculties of our mind. And they are um, perception, intuition, imagination, reason, will, and memory. Again, let me start by saying that number one is perception. Number two is reason and intuition, imagination, will, and memory. So today I want to talk about perception. So as you are sitting here watching me, you have your own perception of who I am and something about me. So exactly where does perception come? What is perception? So let's talk about that because one of my favorite quotes is by uh, Wayne Dyer where he says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Let's say this again. When you start changing the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So Bruce Lee said it best. He said, don't speak negatively about yourself because even as a joke, because what you say, your body hears it. Your body comes to believe it and it incorporates it because our subconscious mind which I've been talking about the entire time, how we heal is delving into opening the file of what was, you know, it's not the story. It's the story of what you wrote, what you believe it's what you perceive. So your perception about your history, what has happened and what you have come to believe and hold on to, that has become your reality. Does that make sense? If it makes sense, say yes. <laughs> so your perception also comes from where you grew up, how you were raised, what you have come to believe because of your surroundings, and, and, and the way you speak. Because 
one of the things that Bruce Lee also says is like words are energy and they cast a spell. And that's why spelling came about. It's how we cast the spelling of what we want to say. And when we speak about our body, when we speak about things and how we word and are what we perceive our words, because one person, let me give you an example. One person, uh, the way they think about mathematics can be completely different than the person who they love mathematics. And I believe everything is math. I was not good in mathematics growing up, but the way I organize things and the way I have this keen sense of numbers and everything is numbers, I'm a great, um, I was a great bookkeeper and yet some, my parents were surprised because how can you become a bookkeeper when you were not good in math? But I am very good in numerology and numbers mean a lot to me, but put me in a geometry and I get lost or I used to get lost. I changed my perception until I realized Oh my God, the things, how things are perceived, the, the shapes, every shape has a dimension. The dimension has numbers. And the way I started creatively think about numbers and how I started putting things together, I can put together and do a woodaco in a puzzle and maybe not be able to do something else but it's how you perceive it. And if you have a mentor, a teacher, a coach, um, a therapist, anyone who can help solve or unravel the things that has been a block for you or a difficult issue, it becomes so easy. Again, I say unravel. So it's like taking this veil, taking this scarf, taking this block. It can be a block of rock or a block of brick or a block of veil, right? It's how we perceive things. And it can be just a curtain. And your problems can be just taking and pulling a curtain away. And it's not as heavy as a brick. It's not as heavy as a stone. And once you shift the perception, it becomes so easy. You say, oh my God, like my clients, just the other day, she said, I never thought of it that way. And you just made it so easy for me. So sometimes we are so boggled in the things we thought I can't, it's not possible, it is. What if someone to make it easy for you? What if someone were here to help you drop that weight? What if someone were to say, just close your eyes and imagine using your one of your sixth faculties of your mind to give you a whole different perception of what is possible. The thing that Bruce Lee said is change the way you speak about yourself and you can change your life and what you are not changing, you're also choosing. It's so much the same as what Wayne Dyer said. When you change the way you look, at things, the things you look at change. One of my quotes is that the way we see, what we see, what we witness, right? So it's how we see things that we witness and how we witness, we become the witness to the things we see. So I am interchanging this because our perception 
is using so much of our sensories, all five senses. So if you have been to a movie theater, and I know 99% of the ones I am sharing this, you will say, yeah, I know. So just imagine being in a movie theater and you, you're you already sitting there and you're holding either a bucket or a bag of popcorn. Actually, without you even holding it, you know what a bucket of a popcorn feels like? And it could be one of those big ones, or it can be the small ones. And some movie theaters may not have the big buckets, but they have bags. And they have the big bags or the small bag, the child's portion, right? But just imagine holding that bucket. And as you are holding, just the smell of popcorn. If the way you like your popcorn, is it buttery? Is it salty? And as you are sitting there waiting for the movie to start, you're watching the trailers. And you have not even paid attention to the chair you're sitting. And nowadays, some movie theaters are so luxury that you go into one of those movie theaters that you can take your food, you order food, you order your popcorn, and it's being delivered to you, right? And you recline. And just the smell of that popcorn, the taste without even touching the popcorn and the person sitting next to you. Maybe you even have a napkin or you have another bucket and you share it with the person next to you. And this sharing, it's included touch, smell, listening to what's happening, even the tasting of the popcorn on your tongue without you even tasting it at this very moment and not only your sensory of what you see what you hear what you smell what you touch and what you taste everything is included in this very moment of watching the trailers or maybe not even paying attention to the trailers but speaking to the person next to you your perception of what life is about is how you change it to be. So perception is the source of your point of view, your perspective. And when by exercising your ability to change your perception and choosing to speak the way you want life to be. And when we come and we speak about, I want this, I need this, it comes from lack. What if you start speaking as if you already have it, you desire it, you're in it, and you're winning it. Every aspect of what we think, what we believe, and we shift our perception to make it the reality becomes the reality that we, you, make it to be. So the next time uh, when you are imagining what is it that I want in my life, instead of saying what do I want is speak of what do I desire and whatever it is start becoming a part of it like my vision of what was the powerful she the book of I wanted to collaborate and bring about authors the women who with each story they share overcoming their own challenges making an impact in the world is 
making an impact in someone that perhaps in their world, in their eyes, they didn't perceive it's possible. And by reading it and imagining it and seeing that it is possible from someone very much like themselves or someone that they aspire to be, they turn around and say, if she can do it, I can do it. If that person could, why not me? That is shedding a light in someone else's life. So when we talk about the powerful she, it's the soul, it's the spirit, it's the spirit, the essence of the story. And I welcome you, or if someone you know, to be part of this. Let's make a change together. Let's empower someone else. And if it is today, if I can be of an assistant and guide you and help you and shift your perception of what life is possible for you, by all means, let me know. Today's message is about the memories that we create by shifting our perception and knowing that we can make a difference in someone else's life. So until next week, where I will talk about another perspective, another faculty of our mind. I look forward to seeing you. And you never know what's happening next week. Because every single moment matters. You matter. I matter. And together, we make this entire world of ours, our reality, become the truth matters. So I'll see you next week, and thank you for being here. God bless, and may the universal light surround you. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.